Caroline from carolinevensel.com, and I am here today to talk to you all about all things blogging. If you have any questions or need any help, there are freebies and templates in the description below. Feel free to check those out, and let's get into this video. How do you decide what to blog about? I have so many ideas for things, but I don't know what to start with. Okay, so let's talk about this, because this is something that I think I don't know. Maybe all of us do struggle with this. Maybe it was just me. Um, when you are first starting out with your blog, we have these ideas where we're like, oh, I like, I like horses, but I also like dogs. And I also like home or housekeeping. And I like organizing. And I also have a cricket. And I also have children. And I also homeschool them. And I like to make things for myself. And I like to use my Instant Pot. So we kind of start off our blogs with this very, very broad, like whatever it is that we want to talk about, whatever it is that we want to say, we start making these blog posts about it. There's no right or wrong answer as to what you should blog about. I'm a firm believer as far as like your blog goes. Um, I know that there's a lot of people who, there's nothing wrong with this, but there's a lot of people who are kind of doing the niche blog thing as a way to make more money. I think that that sounds really taxing. I think that sounds really draining. Um, so I personally want to blog about what I like. I want to write about something that fires me up that I could literally talk about for hours and hours and hours on end. Like this stuff. I could literally sit here and we could just talk about blogging until I'm blue in the face. I could do the exact same thing with finances. I could do the exact same thing when it comes to frugality. I could do the exact same thing when it comes to being really cheap and finding ways to like make cut corners on, on how to save money on bills and finding ways to save money on groceries and apps and all of that stuff. I could talk for hours about it. But when I first started my blog, I started it with the, I'm going to be a mom blogger. That was my umbrella. This is my umbrella motion. That was my umbrella. I'm going to be a mom blogger. And that's what I'm going to talk about. All things mom. I'm going to talk about homeschooling. I'm going to talk about recipes. I'm going to talk about raising my children. I'm going to talk about my relationship with my husband. I'm going to do all of those things. And as I started writing, it became more and more and more clear that it wasn't just mom stuff. Everything came back to how I wanted to save money, how I wanted to find a way to cut a corner how I wanted to make sure that this was in the budget or how I could save up enough to make it be in the budget. And it just kind of morphed over time. So a lot of people get really hung up with like when they first start out this concept of like, what do I want to blog about? You don't need to figure that out immediately. You don't have to have this like concrete construct in your mind about like, I can only talk about coffee. <laughs> coffee cup. I can only talk about coffee. That's it. That's all I will ever talk about. When you first start, you don't know what you want to talk about. You might have an idea. You might say like, I want to start a blog. I want to help moms. Great. Start writing about it. Write a blog post every single day. 500 words. You can do this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty. The whole idea is getting things on paper. Just starting to write, starting to get used to that idea of writing, getting used to the idea of reaching an audience that you want to reach. Who is it that you want to help? And the way that it gets clearer isn't just by you sitting there and thinking like to yourself, like, I'm never going to figure out what it is that I want to write about. I'm just going to write about whatever I want to write about that day. It comes by writing. It comes by actually like getting out there and putting, you know, your money where your mouth is and like getting pen to paper or getting pen to Instagram or pen to WordPress or pen to TikTok, whatever it is. You know what I mean when I say pen to. You have to actually get the content out there. In order to figure out what it is that you want to talk about, you have to start talking about it. I know, I know. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, how do you decide what to blog about? You start writing. And here's the great thing. When you're first starting your blog, one of the biggest hangups that people have, they're like, oh my gosh, it's not perfect. What is going to happen if people see this blog post? It's not perfect. Here's the good news. When you first start your blog, no one's going to see it. No one's going to see it. And that's a good thing. That is such a good thing. My first blog posts were terrible. Terrible. So bad. Like streams of consciousness kind of blog posts. 
but I got them out there. And I'm so thankful that it was only me, my mother, and the Russian hackers, or the German hackers, or the Chinese hackers, or the Indian hackers, or wherever these hackers were always coming from. Because when you first start your blog, for whatever reason, you get attempted hacked every single day. I don't know why, but it does happen. So it's just you, your mom, and the hackers who are trying to hack onto your site who are seeing these blog posts. There's no pressure to be perfect. It's not like your first blog post is going to go mega viral. I mean, I guess it could, but like the chances of that are so tiny. It's insane. It's insane how tiny the chances of your first blog post going viral are. And the reason being is literally because of the fact that your blog is brand new. Your site is brand new. Google doesn't know what your site is about because you don't know what your site is about. So it's not going to like randomly put your blog post as page one on Google. It's not going to happen. So the best thing that you can do if you're trying to figure out what you want to blog about is to just start writing. And then once you've been writing for a while, once you've kind of gotten the feel of it, maybe after a month, if you're writing like 500 words a day, Monday through Friday, take weekends off because I think that breaks are important, then you can come back and reassess. Because once you've been writing 500 words a day for a month. That's 20 days. 20 days. Is that right? 25 days? 20? Wait, four times five is 20. Okay. So we're just going to go off of that, right? Four weeks in a month. Let's call it that. Once you've been writing for a month because it's too early and the coffee has not kicked in yet. Once you've been writing for a month, then you're going to be having a better idea of who you want to talk to, what you want to say. And this doesn't just happen overnight. It takes time. It takes an evolution process of what is it that you could talk about for hours and hours and hours and never get tired. What's that one thing that your friends, ask your friends, if this, if you're still at the end of the month and you're like, I don't know, ask your friends. If you said Caroline could talk about blank for 18 hours without taking a breath, what would that blank be? Ask your friends, ask your sister, ask your mom, ask somebody close to you who you have conversations with pretty regularly and like informal ones, obviously, like, you know, you don't want to sit down and have people tell you like, what could I write a dissertation about? Ask somebody what it is that you could talk about forever. Ask yourself, what is that thing that I could talk about forever and never get tired and never get bored and never run out of something else to say next? What's that thing? And that's how you really find out what it is that you want to blog about. Can you do a bunch of different things on your site? Sure. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult when it comes to SEO and everything to kind of pinpoint what it is that your site is about. But you can do whatever you want. This is your blog, your business. And eventually, as you keep writing, you might have said, you know, like, I really want to start talking about personal finances. And then after a few more months, you're like, you know what? I really don't want to talk about personal finances. I want to talk about homeschooling. And that could be your trajectory from there on. There's nothing wrong with saying like, and pivoting. I liked this, but now I like this better. There's nothing wrong with that at all. We reserve the right to change our minds. If you want to start a different blog on homeschooling and then keep your finance blog, your finance blog, be my guest. The rules are made up. You can do whatever you want with them. You really can. There's there's no like right or wrong answer as far as this goes. But if you're trying to figure out who it is that you want to talk to, what could you talk about for hours on end? That's what it comes back to. That's really, really what it comes back to. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more information on all things blogging, Canva, templates, graphic design, funnels, all that fun stuff. Make sure that you check out the stuff inside of the description for more freebies, templates, more things that you can sign up for to help you on all things inside of your blogging journey. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.